program is recorded at RELA's annual logistics conference in Orlando, Florida. I'm pleased to welcome Editor-in-Chief of Supply Chain Brain, Russell Goodman. Regional package delivery. Joining us to talk about that is Mark McGill, Director of Business Development at OnTrack. Mark, welcome. Thank you, Russell. Mark, as it relates to regional package delivery, what are the trends that you're seeing right now in the supply chain industry? Well, Russell, one of the main trends I'm seeing is that customers have an expectation of expedited delivery, even next day, but without being willing to pay the cost of express shipping. And an example of that is the second fastest growing internet retailer in the U.S. told us when they approached us that in places where the national carriers were giving them next day delivery, their reorder rate was 50%, which is just very high. So the reason they approached us was they said, can you extend that next day footprint on the West Coast, which we can, so they have a DC in, in the Reno area. They wanted to open up their LA marketplace and we can give them next day delivery there. You mentioned something about cost, and that leads me to uh, ask about the economy. As it relates to regional package delivery, what trends are you seeing in the economy right now? Well, one of the things is that because companies cut back so much on their inventory last year to save costs, to reduce costs, they, um, they're now having to replenish them. So they're having to extend their business day, work longer hours, and with a regional package delivery company, because we're not trying to basically catch planes that are going across the country, we can pick up at seven or even eight o'clock at night, and that increases their business day by 25 to 30 percent, which is a godsend for some of them. Well, clearly this must uh, call for these companies to manage their supply chains differently. So how are they doing that? Well, one of the main things I've been seeing, and it's, it's almost counterintuitive, is that in a time where you'd figure companies would be cutting back on locations, they're actually expanding them. In years past, you would see them with like, one, if they were based in New York, for instance, they would have one distribution center in New York that shipped to the entire country. Now they're putting them around the country, like one in New York, one in St. Louis, one on the West Coast. Some country, companies I've seen have as many as 36 different distribution centers. The reason for that is it is so expensive to ship packages across country going through all those different zones, like zone eight from New York to California, for instance, that by locating a distribution center closer to the actual delivery point, their costs are reduced because shipping costs are one of the single largest vendor costs that companies have to deal with. For those viewers that might not be as familiar with the parcel industry as you are, walk us through some of the changes that are taking place. Well, the biggest one that happened was DHL's departure from the domestic market last year. And it was very interesting because FedEx and UPS both wanted that business so badly that they took on the DHL business at the same prices that DHL was, was giving to the marketplace, which in, in some cases were just downright irrational. Now it's been a year since then, and the dust is kind of settling, and I recently met with the Calligraphy Group. They're a, a package uh, research company, and they said that UPS and FedEx are actually mining their data, as they put it, to see which customers are profitable and which are not. And for the ones that are not, they are raising their rates accordingly. And across the board, actually, they've just had one of their largest rate increases last month. And what that means to the large volume shipper is that, A, their regular base rate package is going up, but so is the price of the accessorial charges, things like residential delivery charges, delivery area service charges. I heard, uh, the, actually, the CEO of UPS mention that right now, one third of all packages shipped in the U.S. are business to consumer. If they're paying a residential delivery charge now that's gone up, that has a significant impact on the shipper's bottom line. Well, Mark, are there alternatives to the uh, duopoly, if you will, of uh, UPS and FedEx? Yes, there are, Russell. What most people think is that there's FedEx and UPS or a local courier company that would just deliver to a given metropolitan area. There are actually about a half dozen regional package delivery companies that operate along the same model as a FedEx or a UPS, where there's an interconnecting chain of facilities that stretch over hundreds and hundreds of miles, like we deliver from the Canadian border to the Mexican border, for instance. But it's not just on the west coast where OnTrack is located. There's eastern connection that stretches from Maine to Virginia. There's Lone Star Overnight that delivers in Texas and Oklahoma. You have speedy delivery and U.S. cargo in the Midwest, 
covers 80% of the U.S. population. Well, let's talk about the advantages of these regional package delivery carriers. I mean, what are they? Outline, walk us through that and tell us uh, what is the benefit to the user? There are three main reasons that a large distribution company would use a regional package delivery company. The first one is speed to market. Regional package delivery companies, by the nature of their setup, could deliver packages next day in zone four, which would be a two-day delivery for either FedEx or UPS, and far beyond the reach of a local courier company. And as I mentioned in your first question, that's what customers are looking for these days, those next day deliveries. The second one would be increased productivity. And by that I mean we can pick up as late as seven or, eight, or even eight o'clock at night because we're regionally based. We're not trying to get our packages onto a plane. And basically we can increase their productivity at no extra cost. And third and probably the largest reason, these, the biggest reason these days is reduced costs. A regional package delivery company for ground rates can typically reduce a shipper's cost by 10 to 15 percent. And that's not counting the accessorial charges, because those accessorial charges could add another 28 percent to the price of a FedEx or a UPS package. Regional carriers typically have a lot less accessorial charges. And if you're talking about express deliveries like FedEx Priority Overnight, regional carriers are typically 40 to 50 percent less expensive. So it's a huge cost reduction that can be gained from using a regional company. So speed to market, increased productivity, and reduction in cost. Not bad. Exactly. Mark, it's been a pleasure speaking with you. Thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you very much, Russell. Mark McGill, on track, speaking with us today about regional package delivery. Thanks for watching.